Hey gang, I just got back from a taping of At Midnight. It was super fun. Uh, the hashtag war today was lesser Bond movies, and so I thought I'd throw a few of my own out there. So mine are uh, Dr. No Means Yes, Yard Raker, and Diamonds Are Intrinsically Worthless. <laughs> Travis here. Uh, now, I wasn't on at midnight. I was just in the audience, but it was still super fun. If you have some lesser Bond movies of your own, throw them down in the comments and tag uh, at midnight and lesser Bond movies. Or you can find my Twitter post about it and reply with your very own lesser Bond movies. So today I'm using the iPhone 6 again. This is uh, what it looks like without any color at all attached, any different changes or, 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 or uh, whatever. I'm going to edit it on the computer though because I really didn't like how iMovie worked uh, on the iPhone. It was just too simple. I couldn't do enough with it. I like to throw in images and stuff like that and show you stuff. But uh, recording on it is super cool because I can see myself and it's so nice compared to using my uh, T2i, which uh, again, I have to put like a mirror behind it in order to see what it sees and it's so hard without help. Today was super cool. Before I even went to At Midnight, I spent several hours with Melinda Snodgrass, who was a writer on Star Trek. She uh, wrote some of the very best episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation, including Measure of a Man, and uh, she's doing, she's a novelist now, she uh, works on the Wild Card series with George R. R. Martin, and they're like best friends, and she's super cool. We met at a convention last year and have become friends. She introduced me to a lot of other cool people, and uh, she helped me organize the plot points of this novel that I'm gonna write. And so we actually spent time, these are the plot points of my new novel. I can't believe it. I don't really have a cork board or anything, so I'm probably either gonna put them on the uh, mirror over here or maybe on this wall back here so you can kind of see them back there. Uh, I'm very excited. How on earth do I have time to write a novel? I don't know, but I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna try to do it as part of NaNoWriMo, which means I have to write 50,000 words in the month of November, which is uh, gonna be impossible. Tomorrow we have a great new Mac versus PC video that we came out with. I just had this concept that just popped into my head about the Apple Watch and so uh, I wrote it up, we got space at the YouTube space and we shot it in like uh, two hours and it was good, it's funny, I, I, I really like it so hopefully you guys will too, that comes out tomorrow. Now I did learn a lesson about vlogs though, now this is now 6.30 on Monday evening and I promised to get vlogs starting today, vlogs on Monday, uh, scripted on Tuesday, but uh, I'm not gonna get this edited and out until late, a couple hours from now at least, and then this video is already scheduled to come out at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Um, it's already posted and everything. So what I think I'm gonna have to do is start recording vlogs on Sunday and then editing and putting them up so that, uh, because I want you guys to come into work or school or whatever on uh, Monday, and uh, I want the vlog to be there for Monday and then uh, and then the scripted stuff to be there for Tuesday. So that's uh, ideal. So we'll see if I can actually get that to happen. Also today, I'm finally gonna answer a question that a viewer sent me almost a year ago, and I don't even remember who it was. I don't know his name, I'm sorry, but the question is thus. Hello, Travis. Well, I guess my first question for you would have to be is, how does it feel to be the inspector? Because to me, I feel like that'd be amazing. Oh yeah, it is super awesome. Not only is it was an honor to be on Community, but also anytime I go to a convention and people uh, want to meet me, it feels weird, but also just showers me with self-esteem. So so that's fantastic. And of course, I'm so lucky to have something that uh, then has become bigger than itself with uh, the movie coming up and other projects that we're working on, all based around this Inspector universe that you guys helped create. So uh, yeah, it's awesome. How did you go about casting for the project itself. I basically went around asking famous people if they wanted to be in my thing, and once I had one famous person, another famous person wanted to be in it, and, and it kind of snowballed like that. What advice would you have for any New York actors that would want to be cast in your web series? Sound like the video cut off there, but basically become a famous person, and uh, I will have you in my thing. Um, beyond that, it's tough, because Especially if you're not in LA, it's almost impossible for me to work with anybody. Um, I mean, we have offered roles for people in the Indiegogo thing, but from my perspective, that's not worth it unless you were just rich and want to be uh, in a project that you otherwise normally wouldn't be able to be in. Uh, I guess do your own thing is my suggestion. I mean, it's not my thing that you would be in, but you would be working and writing and acting for yourself, and that is so 
necessary right now. I do want to talk a little bit about acting because I had an experience this weekend where I auditioned finally for a movie that I've been thinking about for two years. I know the producers. Uh, two years ago, I did a, um, a reading, a script reading for this movie, and I was cast in this role that I ended up falling in love with. And for two years, I couldn't get it out of my head. I read the book that the movie was based on, and I kept talking to the producers about it, telling them how much I was looking forward to it. I kept working out because it was a gay theme movie and my character had a nude scene and I was like, I'm gonna look good naked. So it was good motivation for that even. And I had the audition on Friday and I was reading with other people uh, who were in other roles. I was reading my role with other actors and uh, and they called me on Saturday and they said they're, they're not gonna use me. Um, so, I mean, the, the cool thing was they called me and they were very honest and upfront and were talking to me about it. But, and I will say that I was really, really disappointed and it was kind of a delayed reaction because at first I was like, yeah, yeah, I understand, don't worry about it, thanks so much for calling. And I really did mean that because they don't have to, uh, except that they knew me and I probably would have seen them the next time I saw them and be like, hey, what? Why didn't you even call me? That is being an actor in LA. And, and, and the reason they gave was totally valid. And what it was, was they decided on the main character. And then my character, who was kind of a secondary character, but is connected completely with the main character. I, as a person, as an actor, didn't quite match with that um, other actor that they that they wanted. And that is perfectly valid and that happens all the time. In LA, you will be you will be declined roles because of the stupidest reasons that have nothing to do with your talent or really anything that you have control over at all. They might not like your hair color. They might think you're too tall or too short or too fat or too skinny. Your name might remind them of the name of their nephew who they hate uh, or whatever. So if you are an actor and if you want to be a success and uh, actually make a career, you have to really get used to the idea that uh, the rejection is all over the place and you can't focus on it. So I've already let that go and it sucks because that was the project that I was probably most looking forward to of, of any project ever, except for my own, of course. And, um, and so, but you have to just let it go. And luckily I do have my own project, so I have stuff I'm doing. And man, am I keeping busy. If you have questions you want to ask me about anything, video is best. Mail me a download link of your video asking a question to travisritchie at gmail.com and I'll try to answer it on the vlog, all right? Take care, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Travis sent you that? Yeah, wow. yeah. I fucking love Travis. That's crazy. Um, oh.